So about a year ago, we were looking for a new office space because we were expanding our team. And we found this very nice, very raw industrial space. We immediately fell in love because of all the original details. For me, it was very great to have this blank canvas to start working with because then we could really decide together with the team how we were going to do the layout. There were no walls at all, just a few columns, but apart from that, it's very, very flexible space. It always starts with the sketch. So for the kitchen, we wanted to create something a little bit luxurious, something you don't often see in an office kitchen. And we like to use the materials that we would also use in residential projects for our clients. Then we, after this, we try everything out in 3D to see how it looks. And we go very far in this as well. So we really have a very realistic image of how the kitchen will look. We, we decide together, we look at the images, we're, we're fine tuning everything. And when everybody is happy about the image we're gonna build, we turn this into the technical drawing. So we make very detailed line drawings of every side of the kitchen. It wasn't easy to install the kitchen here because we're on a second floor. So the only, the only access is a small metal staircase. So not easy to, to bring in these very heavy, large and delicate slabs of marble just by hand. First, the carpentry was installed and then afterwards the marble elements were first measured here on site and then we had everything made by the marble experts from Il Granito. The ceiling of the kitchen niche is also marble instead of some, some other material there. I really wanted to have this all over atmosphere of marble in the kitchen niche. So we have this combination of different materials. We have the wood, which is the base, very dark, very dark smoky wood. We combine this with a very, very special, very powerful green marble. It's uh, Verde de Rajasthan from India, because I wanted something really bold, something powerful, maybe something you wouldn't do in a private house. For me, that the faucets are something really important. It's a physical touch and it needs to be a quality material. Instead of the typical drainage hole, we did a very subtle detail where the water drains at the edges. We really like to go very far in the detailing. We have also the integrated light in the shelving. And now we wanted to have some, some elegant detail, like a finishing touch, which is the brass element. I get this reaction a lot from people who come here that it looks like a home or people say they could live here. And that makes me very happy because that's what we're going for here. You don't want to create an office-like atmosphere, especially for the team because we spend a lot of time here. It needs to be like a home and inspiring and you can move around, use the space, and that's what I love. And you think the team likes it? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>